I think originally it was a, it was a story I never wanted to be forgotten. Uh, th this is a tragedy that hits a town where things like this are not supposed to happen, and it did. And it, it really, I think, demonstrated so well, first of all, the power of a community, the importance of faith, the importance of family, and certainly the importance of friends. And that's really what our community is all about, but we were shattered. And uh, I, I think it's a great story to see how a small town with limited resources can pull itself together, try to seek out healing, continue to support these families so devastated, and, and create a community where people still feel like it's a great place to live. But most of all, uh, and this violence has to stop. And uh, to slaughter little six-year-old children the week before Christmas, inexcusable. And I, I think that's a story that we can never forget. You know, I hope a couple of things. I think sometimes people assume ministers and clergy are, well, you do that as a living. You know, something like this is, is, impacts you so deeply. And it, it truly makes you question you know, what your role is in a community and how important it is to, to step up and, and to feel uh, the pain. Uh, and I think that's what surprised a lot of people, how the clergy in, in both of these situations really emerge as leaders in the community because of the faith dimension. What, what do you hold on to at a time like this other than your faith? So uh, um, I guess if I had a short answer would just be, you know, let's show the world that if you ha this happens to you, that you can work through it and you can come out better and stronger for it. The pain isn't going to go away, it never does. But we can help people heal and make their family stronger, make that marriages stronger, uh, make a community stronger, and, and really understand and realize how important it is to be a community. Because it hasn't stopped, it doesn't stop. You know, and it's, uh, there are all these situations like, like we were in, it's not supposed to happen here. And it's happening in these small communities that are so unprepared for it, and where you would never expect this kind of hate and violence to emerge. So um, it, it, it has to stop.